If an audio system includes Symmetrix DSPs as well as Dante devices from third-party manufacturers, Symmetrix Composer software can program Dante routing information for those third-party devices, so there's no need to use Dante Controller. This allows you to easily do all your Dante routing in one place and have your system's Dante routing information saved in your site file. In this case, I have an Audinate Avio USB adapter I want to add to my system. In Composer, I can navigate to third-party Dante devices in the toolkit, double-click on Add New Dante Device, select New on the device dialog, and then I can enter all the information about that device, including default connections, product type, Dante interface module, etc. Much of this information can be obtained from Dante Controller, but there is a simpler way. You'll need to have the third-party Dante device and a Symmetrix Dante-enabled DSP on your network. If the DSP's control and Dante ports are on different Ethernet networks, the third-party Dante device needs to be on the same network as the DSP's Dante port. With the Symmetrix DSP device already located in your site file, double-click Add New Dante Device in the toolkit. This time, click on the Browse Network button, and every Dante-enabled device on your network will be listed. Select the third-party device you want to add to Composer. Click on Select Hardware Unit. You'll now see that device listed in the User Library Manager dialog as well as the User Library Toolkit. By clicking on Select Device Type, that device will be added to your site file and is ready to be located. Select the hardware device from the network list. Click on Select Hardware Unit and then confirm that the name and software should be updated to match the hardware name if desired. Double-clicking on the new device shows us that the device has been assigned to transmit on the next unused Dante bus, and nothing has been assigned to transmit to this device yet. Inside the DSP, in the Network I.O. Modules section of the toolkit, under Receive Modules, we find a receive module for the two channels of Dante audio being transmitted by the third-party Dante device. We can add a two-channel Dante transmit module on the next available Dante bus and then assign that bus to our third-party Dante device. Now that the device has been added to the user library, it can be added directly to site files without needing to find the device on the network first. If you do have the device on the network, you won't be able to locate it until you have a Symmetrix DSP on the network and located in your site file. Communication with the third-party device is proxied by the DSP, so you need to locate the DSP first and then locate the third-party Dante device. If you want to export this third-party Dante device for use on a different computer, you can access the Dante Device User Library Manager by clicking on the Tools menu and selecting it. Click to highlight the device you want to export. Click on the Export button. Locate the folder where you would like the exported XML file to appear and click Save. The XML file can be transferred to another computer and then imported using the Import button.